Hi everybody, let's shift gears and uh, take a look at the uh, hurricane uh, outlook that was updated today by NOAA and the National Hurricane Center. First of all, we've had five named storms so far and uh, that takes us through Elsa. The next one would be Fred, but it's been pretty quiet here for the last uh, three and a half weeks. Average is uh, 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major, that's category three or higher kind of like Celia was back in 1970 that we talked about yesterday. And NOAA's updated forecast today says a range of 15 to 21 named storms. So they're saying it's still going to be an active season because we're going to be above normal. And then 7 to 10 hurricanes and 3 to 5 major hurricanes. So really uh, not a whole lot new here. They're still saying it's going to be active even though it's been quiet recently. All right, so here's what's going on out in the Atlantic. The system over here by Africa uh, has fizzled out. A new system is coming off of Africa, and they're saying that is likely to develop uh, down the road. That's what it means in orange there. And then this area in yellow right here is going to develop, and when it does, it'll be in this area northeast of the Leeward Islands. So not a threat to interest in the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico, which continue to be quiet for now. The systems that we just looked at uh, are not a problem, not a threat right now. Scattered showers in the area today, missing the city once again uh, with the activity way out to the west in the watershed and now new activity between Taft and Sinton and Odom and then northwest of Odom and then uh, from Cal Allen over to west of Robstown there in Oasis County. Same place that got hit last night uh, with rain. Officially we've had 18 hundredths of an inch of rain today and it has rained uh, two out of the uh, three days that rain was forecasted but not here in town just officially out at the airport. That's how scattered the activity is and that's the way it's going to be again tomorrow. So 95 on the high today, 77 on the morning low and right now it's 86 with a thunder shower west of the airport and an east wind of just 11 miles an hour. That front all day long has been draped from Flower Bluff to Freer and on to the west. Very unusual to see that and very tricky, but also with the Saharan dust slowing down the development of thunder showers. But that goes away tomorrow. There's a little disturbance embedded right in here in Mexico that's going to ride in from the west and that will enhance the instability and increase our rainfall opportunity here uh, tomorrow. And then it dies out on Friday as high pressure builds back in with the sinking air and makes for oppressively high heat. You can see on the development here uh, the uh, rain and clouds and showers and thunderstorms mainly over the northeastern half of the coastal bend then around the city at noon tomorrow and then inland by 5 p.m. So here is a look at your seven day forecast. Again uh, scattered showers and a few thunderstorms tomorrow 93 isolated in 94 on Friday and then dangerous heat and breezy here Saturday through Wednesday of next week and Katya I wouldn't be surprised if our heat index over the weekend doesn't hit 115 here in the city so watch out for that it's coming. Drink lots of water too stay hydrated all right Jill thank you.